Hi friends, it's me, Gypsy, and I'm here with another poem by Rumi for the Random Rumi playlist. And it's in the book, The Essential Rumi. Today's poem is called, Two Friends. A certain person came to the friend's door and knocked. Who's there? It's me, the friend answered. Go away. There's no place for raw meat at this table. The individual went wandering for a year. Nothing but the fire of separation can change hypocrisy and ego. The person returned completely cooked, walked up and down in front of the friend's house, and gently knocked. Who is it? You. Please come in, myself. There's no place in this house for two. The doubled end of the thread is not what goes through the eye of the needle. It's a single pointed find down thread end, not a big ego beast with baggage. But how can a camel be thin to a thread? With the shears of practices, with doing things. And with help from the one who brings impossibilities to pass, who quiets wolfiness, who gives sight to one blind from birth. Every day that one does something. Take that as your text. Every day God sends forth three powerful energies. One, from the sperm of the father into the mother, so growth may begin. Two, a birth from the womb of the ground, so male and female may spring into existence. Three, there's a surge up from the surface into what is beyond dying, that the real beauty of creating can be recognized. There's no way to ever say this. Let's return to the two friends whose thread became single, who spell their two letters the original word, B. B and E tighten around subjects and objects that one knot may hold them. Two scissor blades make one cut. And watch two men washing clothes. One makes dry clothes wet, the other makes wet clothes dry. They seem to be thwarting each other, but their work is a perfect harmony. Every holy person seems to have a different doctrine and practice, but there's really only one work. Someone listening to a millstone falls asleep. No matter, the stone keeps running. Water from the mountain far above the mill keeps flowing down. The sleepers will get their bread. Underground it moves without sound and without repetition. Show us where that source of speech is that has no alphabet, that spaciousness. Where we are now is a narrow fantasy that comes from there and the actual outside world is even narrower. Narrowness is pain and the cause of narrowness is manyness. Creation has spoken with one sound, B. The two letters, B and E, to record it, came after. The meaning of the sound and its resonance are one. There's no way to ever say this in so many words, and no place to stop saying it. Meanwhile, a lion and a wolf were fighting. And that has been the poem, Two Friends, by Rumi, in The Essential Rumi. I hope you've enjoyed this poem. If you have, please leave me a comment below. I do love reading them. Namaste, my friends. Have a wonderful day.